Hi guys, in this video, we are going to fix our HTTP problem. So for example, if you are open our journey motion and open our web browser and press on the go button, the website is not going to open. But if we type in HTTP colon backslash backslash and press on the go button, then as you'll see the Google will open. So what we are going to do is that we will take this edit text and we are going to check if at the starting HTTP is there or not. If HTTP is not there, then we are going to add the HTTP and then we are going to load our URL. So for that, we'll go back to our backend file and over here where we are taking the edit text value, we are going to put in if edit text value dot starts with and we'll put in HTTP colon backslash backslash then our edit text value is going to be HTTP plus the edit text value. And then we are going to store this edit text value in our URL and then we are going to load the URL. So what we are basically doing is, for example, you type in www.google.com. So our edit text value will contain www.google.com. It will check this stands for not. So basically it will check if the edit text value is the www.google.com. If it, the URL starts with HTTP, which in our case doesn't, then it's going to add this HTTP in front of the edit text value, just making it a whole URL. And then we are going to store this value in URL and we are going to load the URL. So let's just try it out and see if it works. We are going to go back into Jenny motion and now we are going to press the go button. And as you can see, the website opens. Let's try out some other website. Let's try out atreya.in. And we press in the go button. And as you can see, my website has opened. And even if we add HTTP, it doesn't matter it will open in both scenarios so this stands for again this stands for not so if our edit text value doesn't start with http then we'll add http in front of our url and then we store this value in edit text value and then the string url is equals to edit text value and we are going to load the url so this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to solve our problem of javascript so for example if you visit in a browser, a website, something like YouTube, which requires JavaScript to execute and load and press the go button. As you can see, the website won't open. If you scroll down, you can see it's written, please enable JavaScript on your browser. So in the next video, we are going to enable the JavaScript on a browser.